Basically, the world is this incredibly rich and complex place with all sorts of very, very interesting, complicated things happening around us. Uh, skin folding, clothing folding, hair flowing in the wind. And my research attempts to capture these phenomena and simulate them in real time on commodity hardware. And the way that we're doing that is by studying these types of phenomena and trying to distill, in some sense, the simplest model which will simulate them. And it turns out that you can sort of find astonishingly simple models and then allow people not only to see but also to interact with these kinds of phenomena in real time. These kinds of simulations are used all the time in things like uh, for designing new airplane wings or for uh, figuring out what the weather will be tomorrow, but they're sort of locked away at, in these like supercomputers. And we're trying to take those exact algorithms and put them in the hands of like a five-year-old um, and be like, what can you do with this, right? In the case of the protein folding game, what we're doing is we're saying, help us solve scientific problems by interacting with complex physical systems on your computer. So we're sort of opening up this world uh, to ordinary people where they can like cooperate together and, and try to figure out how can we build new drugs and how can we, um, uh, you know, sort of better humanity in some sense. So we have like 90,000 users, uh, 90,000 players, and they fold proteins and they compete with one another. And the interesting thing is that the proteins that they're folding uh, are hopefully actually medically useful. So we take the results of what the top players are doing and actually study what they're doing and see if uh, we can actually synthesize those proteins and use them to make like, new enzymes or, or interesting uh, 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 antigens and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We're basically asking ordinary people to help us do science by playing a video game. One of the really inspiring things that I felt immediately when I came here and that I feel every day when I walk through the halls is just how good everyone here is. And it's just an amazing thing to be able to work with these people who all sort of have like a superpower and uh, to, to want to have a superpower too and, and sort of join forces with them and fight evil, uh, as it were, scientifically. And, uh, and uh, that's just a really, really exciting place to be and you just want to work with all these people and be as good as them. And, and do as good work as everyone else is doing. So it's really inspiring that way.